Humane Society. Round number one's out of the way. Pretty tough comp. You know, I wasn't sure uh, what was going to happen, who was going to win. I honestly thought the young lady was going to win easily, but I was surprised Cowboys put a, put a heck of a plate of food out there. So, you know, no, no way of knowing. Uh, but we're here with the young lady from the Humane Society. I'm Rita Hart, and I'm the marketing and outreach Okay, now, if you're looking on Barbecue Superstars, you can also go to their website and watch it. If you're on the Humane Society, she wants to talk directly to you. Tell us exactly what the Humane Society is. Well, we are a shelter that takes in homeless pets in the St. Lucie County, and we handle over $8,000 uh, 8, 8, pets uh, each year. Each year? Every year, $8,000. If you'll step just a little closer to the camera now, the point I've been trying to make today if you had those 8,000 pets running the streets where there was no humane society, what kind of chaos would be going oh, on? Oh, it would be terrible. It would be terrible. And they are the most wonderful animals. When they come through our doors, many of them are injured or ill. And um, or in some cases, they're a little aggressive because they've been on their own for a while. So what we do is we take care of their health issues. Uh, mend them when we can and um, and work with them to socialize them a little bit better so that they be, uh, can become wonderful pets and then they go up for adoption. And right now we're running a 50% off adoption fee sale till the end of the month. So for half the price, the usual price of the adoption fee, we can have a wonderful, wonderful pattern. Now I tell you, pets are people too, and we, we love uh, cats and dogs. I got, I got two dogs, one of them died. And Buddy was my best friend, and uh, you know, you never know who you're gonna meet if you go to the Humane Society, and uh, it might be somebody you'll never forget. And uh, you know, you never know unless you try. Now, if you've been taught not to like dogs or cats when you were children, like I was, uh, you know, I want to reach out to you and say, you know what, try it. You know, forget what you were taught, forget what you know, just go down and get a pet and try it. And, uh, uh, Dogs that have bitten somebody and have went out and done harm, the non-kill societies don't have to take them, but the humane society that you represent has to stand in that gap. And the other thing before you comment on that is, don't buy a $500 or $1,000 pet. I heard that this morning. Why not go, just go ahead and take one that someone else didn't want in order to recycle and bring, bring the homes forward because there's a lot more than 8,000 homes here in Fort Pierce and the surrounding area. I'm sure there's plenty of room and a lot of lives for these pets. And uh, So talk about those two points right there. Well, you, make, you raise an excellent point. We are an open admission shelter, which means we turn no cat or dog away. And uh, all of the area animal control divisions in the city of Fort St. Lucie, the city of Fort Pierce, and the county, St. Lucie County, um, when they find animals on the streets, they come to us. The Humane Society to us. Absolutely. We take them, and uh, the first thing we do is check to see if there's a microchip. So I'd like to make that important point as a, as a pet owner. You have to have your pet's microchip because you never know when they're going to walk out the back door and you never see them again. But the first thing that we do is scan them for a microchip. If we find one, we call the owner, and a reunion takes place in our shelter, which is wonderful. Um, but if there is no identifying information on them, or, and sadly what happens sometimes is pets do have microchips in them, but the owner has not kept that information up to date. And so we're calling a phone number that is no longer ready, but we can't reach the people to tell them we've got your animal. Uh, but they go up for adoption then when that happens, and they find a new home and a new family. I, I saw a wonderful sight today. We had two gorgeous black and white um, border collie lab mixes and they were beautiful and they were very young about two years old they were brother and sister we had them in the same kennel we didn't want to separate them so we try to keep them together in a case like that whenever we can and sure enough it took a little while but the two of them were adopted today and went out the front door with a new family it was, well, i took pictures of it it was beautiful man that's a big old barbecue suit with ours <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> Now, folks, uh, if you go to the website, now what's the website? The website is um, www.hsslc.org. That stands for Humane Society St. Lucie County, hsslc.org. And on that site, you'll also find all of the adoptable cats and dogs that are up for adoption now. 
Um, it's an, a, a site that is in real time, so the minute a dog gets adopted, it will come off that website. So everything that you see up there is currently available for adoption. Man, that's awesome. Now, go ahead and make that move, make that call. Now, if you go to that website that she just mentioned, you could go down, there's a donate button right there. You know, do it for Barbecue Superstars, because you know Barbecue Superstars loves you. If you like our radio show, and you like our television, and you like all the things we're doing for barbecue, do it for me. Go down there, get to the donate button, $5, $10, $20. How much would $100 do for these guys? Amazing. I mean, even donations of, of pet food, we have a food bank for folks in the community that want to keep their pets in their home but are struggling a little bit financially, we can help them out with pet food. Um, we get uh, donations of blankets and beds and toys, all of them matters, all of them matters. Man, well, anything, you know, and the other thing about it is, you might say, well, it's not people, it's, it's animals. But you know, when you give, you get back. And every time you give, your life will get easier. And you know, it's karma or it's God working, or it's whatever you want to say it is, but when you do good things for other people, including cats and dogs, uh, good will come back in your life. And I'm sure you've seen that many times down at the facility where you have a story where uh, somebody uh, came in, got an animal, and come back later, and they were so happy that it was really a blessing for them. I had a, a, a wonderful story recently, a, a, an older couple. Um, the gentleman was in, not in great health, he was in a wheelchair, uh, and they had just lost um, a, a shepherd that was his best friend. He used to sit outside, and the dog never left his side, never left the wheelchair, and the dog passed away. So they came in, the, I got an email one day, Do you, you know, this couple just lost their shepherd mix, do you have anything that is similar to that? And I knew immediately what dog was the right dog for them. A beautiful shepherd mix named Lizzie. I invited them to come in and I, I was able to be there to see them meet her for the first time. And I wish I could have had a picture of the smile on their faces when they saw Lizzie for the first time. She went home with them that day and they were so thrilled to have her. Now I tell you, if you don't get along with your wife or you don't get along with your husband, my father, ex-father-in-law, used to have this little dog named Pino. And when everybody got mad at him, he'd go up to the shop and Peanut always went to the shop with him. And he fed him some shirts and he feed him some chicken. And, and, and him and, him and uh, Peanut were best of friends. You know, if everybody around you condescends you or doesn't like you or whatever, you can easily get a pet. Pets love you regardless. Unconditionally. I have four in my home right now. One I'm fostering and two of them are, are special needs dogs. And uh, when I walk in that door at night, every one of them is at the door with their tail wagging and greeting me. And, and I, sometimes I just go out to the mailbox and back and I get that kind of a greeting. It's awesome. <laughs> my husband doesn't greet me that way. <laughs> you so know, it's great. the other thing is, is, you know, you can learn a lot about just life, nature, human nature. And, uh, you know, dogs and cats, they can't talk, but they talk to you in their actions. And what's so funny is they're living with you, you know? You get up from the chair, uh-oh, daddy's getting up from the chair. What are we doing now? And then when you start, to, oh boy, we're doing this. Man, they're right down there in the middle. And my dog, Buddy, he always watched me. Yeah, they're creatures of <laughs> habit, aren't they? They know. He always watched everything I did. And uh, well, I loved it. That's great. Well, we, I, if I can take this opportunity just to thank everyone that has come out, both the, the teams that are competing in the big event tomorrow, the teams that are competing tonight, the people, the folks that participated in our dessert contest tonight that just ended. Um, I thank them on behalf of the shelter from the bottom of my heart because they are helping. They're doing so much good. I know they're having a great time, and that's an invitation <laughs> to everybody to come out tomorrow. But um, there is so much wonderful things that will continue to happen at our shelter. Work. I should take this opportunity to mention we have a new shelter, a second facility that will open up on Blades Cut Off Road in Fort St. Lucie this fall. Um, so I invite folks to watch our website and uh, come out when we have our grand opening at the end of the summer sometime. Um, but that will be a, a second facility. It won't replace the one we have now, so we're going to be able to help even more animals. And events like this are what have allowed us to build this new shelter. We're going to be able to 
Now another way you can support is come out here tomorrow and we'll have barbecue everywhere. Buy some barbecue. Come by and talk to these Humane Society people that are just wonderful. And donate here. Or just come out and support the event. And can you tell everybody exactly where it's at? Uh, the event is at 600 North Indian River Drive. The location is absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking past the camera out at the river and it's beautiful. And it will be beautiful tomorrow. Um, it is uh, at Veterans Park and River Walk Center in uh, the downtown Fort Pierce area. And we will have our uh, mobile pet adoption unit here tomorrow too. So if anybody's interested in adopting, they can do it here and enjoy the barbecue at the same time. Man, well, come on down and add to the family. Man, we appreciate you coming on Barbecue Superstars. And I'm glad we could do something to help the Humane Society. And folks, it doesn't stop here. Now, we're getting ready to do another Big Papa's Battle at Barbecue Junction. And at the end of the second round now, the two winners will be announced to set up a playoff for tomorrow. But you know, uh, uh, doing something for others is what barbecue is really about. You know, it's about slowing your life down and going in the backyard and getting some good stuff and putting it on the grill. When that blue smoke starts coming out, life gets a whole lot easier. And you know what else it's about? It's about having a dog or a cat, or a dog and a cat, or a couple dogs and a cat to enjoy it with you. And you've never lived till you have someone who's looking to you that can't talk, that loves you. And uh, donate now, donate now. Well said.